G'day, this video is showing how to put together my new printer, the OB1.4, um, which was based on my first printer, the OB1, um, which uses this 15 by 15 aluminium extrusion. Um, the advantages of the 1.4 is that it's got a better build height um, and a bit uh, more room for the extruder. First thing we're going to do is we're going to make up each of the ends. So we make up the end with the Y idler on it first, so we need a 330mm extrusion. We need the top part of the Y idler. Just and that bit. gets mounted in the middle. So we'll mark the middle of this uh, rod. There are two ways of assembling stuff on this. Um, one method is to insert the nuts into the rod and then to screw whatever you want to the nuts, which works a lot of the time. The other way to do it is to pre-assemble the nuts onto the item like this and then slide the whole arrangement on. Right, so this is pre-assembled with the screws on. Right, you see that? And then I'm going to slide that onto the end of the extrusion. So carefully aligning the nuts, give them a wiggle and they'll slip in. Not that. And then slide it along to the mark you've already made. Tighten them up. Okay, there are two extrusions on this end piece, and uh, between them there are the rod holders that um, take the ends of the rods for the Y carriage. So, again, we'll do the pre assembly method. The spacing of the Y rails is 150mm. So we're going to place these 75 millimeters off the center line. Then one six five, and then 75. And again, going to slide them onto the rail. Nothing, nothing super tight at this stage. It's basically just for assembly. So then we're going to put the, the ends on. The ends look like this. Um, Alright, well there's a, there's a front end. It's uh, pretty much the same except it doesn't have the vertical upright on it. So it doesn't really matter which one we start with. Um, now again we can do the, um, the pre-bolt install trick on these. It does make it easier for, for some of these to get them into the corners. So there it is, pre-loaded with the nuts that I want. Now the um, the top, um, the way this goes around, that, that there is the top. The uh, the top bolt there actually uh, screws into the end of the extrusion. There's a hole right in the middle there. Um, one of the good things about this is extrusion is that you can just screw M3 nuts straight into it. You don't have to tap them or anything. So, so the end one goes into the end hole of that top rail and that just locks everything together very securely. Uh, you don't need to tap this hole, you can just screw the screw in, the uh, machine screw. Now before we do anything we just want to make sure we loosen these clamp nuts because we don't want to be fighting against them to get everything square. Loosen them slightly and then everything should push in and then tighten the clamp ones at the end. Okay, so the other method of assembling anything with open beam is to preload the nuts. So that's just a, a simple matter of taking a nut and sliding it into the slot. 
and making sure you've got enough nuts in there for what you want to do. So I need one on the bottom one, two on the top ones. And what else do we need? We need one more on the bottom one on the other side. Okay, and then just pop the end on, just push the end on. So in some ways this is quicker. But of course the tricky bit now is to arrange those nuts so that they're in the right place and the best way I've found to do that is with um, something like a, a large screwdriver and just tap the end like this and uh, you can position the machine screws fairly easily like that. So you're looking through the hole to see where the nut is. And then spin the nuts up. So with the ingrain one, tighten it up first. Um, that should pull everything into, into square. And then we need to do the nut, nut jiggling to get the nuts in the right place. it up so and that's ready now for the sides